So based on all the things Shaggy told us they saw, we were able to figure everything out. First off, we realized that when we had lunch with Scoop Spaulding, that wasn't you, Mr. Spaulding. This one was eating a steak. But according to your column in the newspaper, you don't eat meat. That's right. Gave it up. Also, this Scoop Spaulding was allergic to flowers. But again, according to your column, you aren't allergic to flowers. You even judge the Tournament of Daffodils Parade. Every year they ask me. So it had to be the Phantom impersonating you. That's right. He jumped me, tied me up, and kept me here in the lab. He used the TV station's equipment to broadcast holographic projections of himself and the ghosts all over the area. The technology involved was amazing. Some of those ghosts were pretty dangerous. Like, tell me about it. So, how'd you know we were here at the TV station? Well, it was partly a guess, but you gave us the idea with your column about how you're always at the TV station. And we figured the Phantom could use the TV station's antenna to send out the ghost images. The ghosts were reconstructions of menaces we've met in the past. And he had them all on this CD-ROM. Brilliant! But how did you know that the Phantom was really the guard at the Wax Museum? Scooby and Shaggy came up with the answer to that one. We did? Sure. We knew the Phantom was allergic to flowers. You noticed that only one person you ran into was sneezing, and only when you were carrying flowers. I noticed that, if you say so. And it was the museum guard. An amazing bit of spook sleuthing from my guests. Fred Jones, Daphne Blake, Velma Dinkley, Shaggy Rogers, and their great, Great Dane. Where's Scooby? Where do you think they'll stop? I don't know. Where's the nearest burger stand?